I don't know what to think of this. Now, where am I? Lost River. Um, what just happened to me? What the shit? <laughs> Bart, come in. It's dangerous. Damn it, boy. I know you can hear me. <gasps> Chief. Chief, get off the radio and put on your helmet. What? Brace! <laughs> Hi, so I have something to show you guys. Have you seen this yet? No? Well, you have now. That is the new update that just came to Subnautica and is official. We have incredible looking graphics. Now, I myself do not have motion blur or the uh, other blur thingy. Uh, I don't think I have it on. Let me just check real quick and see. No, I have them all on. Never mind. Okay, well, <laughs> thanks for making me a liar, Subnautica. Either way, everything looks amazing now. And I was wondering, you know, did they make some changes to how the game works and looks and all that stuff? And well, now we have the answer. This is why Subnautica has never looked this good since, like, ever but still, it's looking pretty good now. Now, a lot of people were saying they didn't like that there was blurs and stuff now. I don't really get a blur type of feel, and I feel like it's been fine-tuned since that happened anyways when they made the stuff. So, um, I don't know. I'm going to leave it to you guys. I want to know what you think. Do you like this weird... Let me just cheat real quick on camera. There. Do you guys like the little bit of blur? Do you not? I mean, for me, I love it. I think everything looks incredible in this game now. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. Anyways, guys, welcome back to Subnautica. Now, we have some stuff to go over, per usual. Actually, we always have stuff to go over, don't we? So, we went over the possibility of an ice-breaking submarine in the last video, and I really want to go in-depth with that today, because people were kind of interested in it, and I was really interested in it, and I have no idea what the concept art would be, but I do have a Subnautica section in my fan Discord, so if you want to make some concepts that I can show off in a video of an, I guess, a quote-unquote ice-breaking submarine for the uh, biome that they might be working on that's been hinted on heavily, which I covered in a previous video for a DLC... <sighs> That was a lot to say. Well, then you can join it with the link in the comment section of the video. Oh, where? Where is... Where? Oh, wait. Gay Gary is down there. Why is he all the way down there again? I don't think I ever investigated that to see why he was down there. I think a Reaper Leviathan grabbed him and threw him down there. I I think. I don't remember bringing... There's one up there, too. Ignore that one. That one's V2 or V1. This one's V2. This is the one that we want. Which I need to try and get. I've never seen that little shadow before of myself. What the hell? Alright, whatever. Well, let's see if we can get Gay Gary real quick. How the shit... How is it... Where it... I can't... I can't find a way into there. Is there... Is there like a secret tunnel? I think it got pushed through the map. I actually think Gay Gary got pushed through the map. And that's why I can't get him right now. Which is kind of crappy of you to do, Mr. Reaper Levi... Oh, wait. Mr. Reaper Leviathan... Because I only have someone's oxygen to look down through here and see if I can catch where this guy went. Oh, it's so dark and creepy. Oh, I love the graphics. God, this is such a good update. Oh, it's such a good update indeed. Hell yeah. All right, I'm, I, I need to... I'll, I'll see you guys when I actually get to Gay Gary. So somehow, after some exploration, I've found that Gay Gary is under the map. And I don't know how I'm going to get to it because I can't, I actually have to go through like actual stuff to get to him. Like he's, he's rooted down there. Look at this. Like it's actually through a wall and then I got to go straight down and that's not in a biome anywhere from what I understand. This isn't anything. 
And I don't know how I can actually get them back. Oh, wait, maybe. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Because this is the jelly thingy cave, I think. And Gay Gary is over right here. What is this then? This is the last river? Wait, what is... What is... What the hell? Hang on a second. I'm upside down. Okay. <laughs> I, thought, I thought I found an alternate universe. <laughs> oh my god. That was weird. Yeah, I can't I can't get them back. That was so weird cuz you can go upside down. I thought everything was upside. Oh man, that was creepy. Uh, okay. All right, so I totally did not use anything to get under the map. I swear, it totally yeah, I I really need this guy back. I I just want I want my mech suit because I can't afford to keep on having to make these things. So it's okay. Are you standing on something? What are you standing on? Nothing there. All right, that's really we. Oh no 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 no! You dick! Why is it falling? Stop! Oh god! Oh, 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 okay, we don't have the thruster power to get up. I don't think. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be hard to do. Oh my god, and I can't teleport it either. Come on. Oh, it's so close. Dude, this is not okay. How am I supposed to get him back? We're just falling endlessly. Stop. <laughs> I'm gonna lose Gay Gary. Ah, okay. Oh, I better read a bar while I'm falling to my death. Okay, cool. Um, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll, I'll figure, figure something out. I, oh shit. Oh no. Okay. Okay. This is the lava zone and we're about to pass by a section where we can't. All right. We're okay. We can get out of this. I have to save him. I, uh, okay. I have to save. Where am I? I don't know where I am. I think this is the lava zone. Oh, oh, I can't deal with the sea dragon, though. Nope, 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 nope. I'm going to try and find my way up out of this and save Gay Gary. Is he give me a little bit? I am not equipped. I am not equipped to be down here right now. I don't have anything that I need to survive down here. I'm out of food. I have very limited water. There's sea dragons. This thing is good on power, so we're okay in that respect. But otherwise, we're in some serious trouble. What better time I guess to talk about an ice breaking submarine than right now? So you guys know that in the uh, quote unquote leaked document about a DLC for Subnautica, we saw things about a ice breaking submarine, which would be very, very valuable to have. I mean, obviously the normal Cyclops is not, it's not equipped. You can't break ice in the normal Cyclops. I mean, I'm pretty sure you would break the glass window. You would damage the hull. You need some kind of hardened alloy. Now, I would imagine that they would change the structure of the submarine and not just make it a depth or a, 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 an upgrade for it. Now, maybe they would. I don't know, but I feel like the Subnautica devs would take that route. I feel like they would instead not want silver ore. Silver ore. Ugh. I feel like instead they would move in the direction of trying to... I guess make a new submarine that looks even better than the current one. Maybe it will be a bigger one. It would probably made, be made out of some kind of extra hard metal or you would upgrade the metal of the current Cyclops and maybe there will be some kind of harder... Ooh, that's that's a far... I need to find... I don't even know how to get up out of here to be honest with you. But maybe they would have some kind of extra hard and stuff. Now we do know what ice breaking submarines look like in the... Oh, I'm gonna catch it! Yeah, you can't. You can't. You can't do it. You can't. I'm on 56% health. You need to stop. Oh, it looks horrifying. What are you doing here? Get out of here. I'm going to kill you too. Like, I've already killed your kind many times, man. You want to go? We'll do this. I have no problem. Oh, that guy's head. Yeah, this guy's seen better days. This looks horrifying. What the hell? Wait, what the, What kind of skull is this? Ow. That, that really hurts. That really, really hurts. It's a bad zone to be in. It's bad. Where's my scanner? Where's my scanner? Skeletal remains. Leviathan skeletal remains. Reaper skeleton. That didn't look like a reaper skeleton to me. Kind of weird looking. Let me see what this has to say about it. Loading voice recognition. Okay. Engineer Barkley and chief technology officer you identified. Drone, get me a propulsion cannon. Repulsion cannon retrieved. 
Hey, Berkeley. That is so Install cool. Install that circuit box with that repulsion cannon and you'll punch a hole in the cargo bay. Damn it, drone. I said propulsion, not repulsion. Recalibrate sensors. Sensors recalibrated. <gasps> sensors aren't the problem. I tweak the program. It's like you now. It doesn't like being told what to do. <sighs> drone, I know... His name's Albert now. Albert, I know it's not your fault, but it would really help me do my job if you'd bring me what I asked for. Thanks for your time. Propulsion can retrieved. Thank you. Now go away. Entering hibernation mode. Boss, this hobby of yours isn't making my job any easier. Or safer. Maybe so, but it's all that's stopping me from being so bored. I take a spacewalk in my skivvies. I... <laughs> Okay, that's kind of cool. I didn't know this was an action. I thought they only did it for the, uh, the Degassi crew. There was a voice log that I was kind of curious about. And I can't find the log for this thing either. I'm probably going to go check that out, actually. We're going to go check that out. And, um, let's go into Icebreaking Submarines too. So, something that actually caught my eye in that, uh, entire document was the mention of a new predator. A worm-type creature, I believe it was. Now, we've seen the Bobbit Worm from um, Debris, and we played down through that game. You should check it out if you haven't. Really good game. Got really emotionally attached. Kind of wanted to cry at the end, but it's perfectly fine. I'm manly enough to admit that. Now, there was a worm creature, and I wanted to throw this image up on screen because I want a concept. I want to I wanna inspire artists. I want to inspire you guys, at least the people that are all artsy-fartsy and stuff that like to do this stuff. Can you be quiet? I'm trying to do some stuff. To me, a concept for this worm, that right there would be probably the greatest way you could ever describe a horrific <laughs> worm creature in Subnautica. Now, we've seen those in the past, but the death worm grabby thingy was removed, unfortunately. I also didn't get to gay Gary, so he's kind of just stuck down there to his fate. I'm going to make a, a, a submarine, though. I'm going to make a watch, we call it. I'm going to make a Seamoth, and we're going to try and get down to the Lost River because there's voice logs down there that I really want to grab and listen to. That is something that I really want to do. So you guys give me a minute. I'm going to make up another submarine, give it some upgrades. It's going to take a little bit, and then we will continue from there. But I want to know what you think a concept for a giant worm monster would be in Subnautica because I'm kind of curious to know, and I want to I wanna know. Now, as far as the ice-breaking submarines, well, here's a couple concepts right here. We have the Atlas and then another one as well, but there's nothing really on concept art, I guess, for an ice-breaking submarine. There's just no one that's really thought of that, and I think it's really important that we, as a community, try to figure something out and try to see what we would want beforehand. That's just the way that I view it. You guys let me know in the comment section below. If you are an artist, again, join the Discord server because I would love to see some art. And, uh, well, let's go see if we can repair that, huh? Uh, let's go see if we can find those new voice logs that were put into the game. First things first, though, it's time for us to check and see if the rocket had any change. Ooh, okay, that's cool. Let's see if we can do anything with this. Oh, it lagged. All right, probably won't let me build it, though, will it? Oh, it, it appeared for even longer that time. There's a little bit of a discrepancy here. And I also noticed you lock yourself in the vehicle bay now when you use it, which is kind of nice. And another thing I want to point out, I haven't seen any Reaper Leviathans in my area. Kind of concerned about that, actually. Kind of lonely now. All right, so I have very basic minimalistic stuff on this Seamoth. Now, instead of going for that prawn suit, I'm going to leave it down there and we'll figure out something else. Or maybe you guys can give me an idea as to how to get that thing back because there's no way I'm riding that thing down into... Okay, I thought I was moving. I, th I thought that wasn't me. <laughs> instead of having to chase that thing all the way down into the Sea Dragon's lair... Maybe there's another way I can get it. So you guys let me know how I can save that thing because it has a lot of good upgrades and I don't want to have to go really deep anymore and get more stuff. <sighs> it's a pain. I'm going to find my way inside the Lost River because, well, not the Lost River, the other place where the crab squids are because I want to find those PDAs. They're really freaking cool and I want to see what's happening down there. Integrating new PDA data. Okay. Flotation devices failed. We're flooding. Evacuate. Wait. I can reconfigure the O2 system captain. to act as a bilge pump. That is so cool. It's working. Okay, good news. We're alive and we've stopped sinking. Bad? 
The oxygen's going to run out in 30 minutes, and we're 500 meters down. What do we do? We'll have to use the remaining juice to send a distress call and build whatever gear we can. Then we find a way to the surface. Did they make it to the surface? Or did they not? That is... I, I decided to go to the life pod because it was on my map. And I want to know if they made it to the surface or not and what the hell they did. Maybe we can, like, find some clues or something in here. Maybe they... I mean... I don't... I don't know. I'm kind of... I don't know what to think of this. Now, where am I? Lost River. Um... What just happened to me? What the shit? <laughs> Why is it stuck there? The freaking tree just came out of nowhere and grabbed me. What the hell? How do I get out of this? I, I can't get... What the shit, man? What the hell is this supposed to be? It straight up just grabbed me. How the freak am I supposed to... I... The weirdest shit is happening to me in this, but I can't even, like, I can't do this. The weirdest shit is happening to me in this video. I don't even know what the hell this zone is. I've never been here before. Or maybe I have. What is it saying here? The Lost River Ghost Trees. I've never been in the Ghost Tree Zone, I don't think. I don't remember this place. Yeah, I remember these things over here. I don't remember all the trees. Maybe it's just because of the graphics and aesthetics and stuff. I oh, there we go. We're free. Hell yeah. Okay, we're good. Weird. I gotta watch out for these trees. They want to grab me. Maybe they're like super magnetic or some crap. All right, so I want to... This place looks so cool. What the hell? No, I've never been here before. There's no way I've actually been in this zone. I can't believe I haven't been here. Here it is right here, what I've been looking for. Now, I want to get inside this place right here because there's PDAs, and I want to hear what the PDAs have to say. I assume they're in here. I think I might have already gotten them, but they should be back again. We've got that one already. I think I might have listened to these ones already. I'm not entirely sure. Was that the other zone? I'm not... Damn, those things are freaking there too. Ugh. All right. I need to go up outside around. My Seamoth should be okay for another little bit. Yeah. Ooh, you tried to bite me. You bit my Seamoth instead. Good luck destroying it because it's armored. Uh, go in here. Hello. Hi. How you guys doing? You got a PDA for me right here? Yeah, there you go. Give me. Number nine. Disaster. Disaster. What else is in here? Anything else? Nothing else here. All right. We should be okay to leave. Just a moment. I was that what I think it was? Is that what I think it was? Where's my CMOD? You know what? Get the other PDA. Eight and nine. All right. Integrating new PDA data. I'm 90% sure that sound was my Seamoth. I don't want to jump to any conclusions or anything, but I get the feeling my Seamoth just blew up. And that's a big, that's a disaster. If that's what just happened. Yeah, it was definitely my Seamoth that just blew up. And it's not out there anymore. The icon's not even there. So, um... Yeah, that was cool. Anyways, I don't care. I want to see what these voice logs are. Uh, let's just see. The the Ghost of Survivors, 8 and 9. Okay, let's listen to a Leviathan. Ooh, okay, all right. They talk about a Leviathan and then disaster. All right, let's see what these have to say. Margaret, Maida has boarded the habitat. What are you so happy about, Maida? Say, kid, I brought you something. Is that a leviathan outside? Towed it home on the back of the sub. You killed that That is thing? so cool. It's still breathing. I was about to finish the job, but I can stay in chat if you'd like. No? Then make yourself useful and pass me that hardened blade. Are you out of your mind? You brought that thing here? What if it's not as dead as it looks? What if others come? You prefer it got curious and came of its own accord, or got messed up and dragged here? When we get off this planet, 
I am going to drag you through every court in the damn <laughs> Holy shit, she's such a badass. She brought a Leviathan there. Damn. All right. Let's see what this one is. Disaster. I have had it with you, risking our lives. Oh, stow it, chief. The kid can't kill this disease without fish to study. I'm just bringing him home. What? Tell her. Tell her I'm right. You're both wrong. Marguerite, I can't find out how they resist the bacteria if you slaughter them all. It ain't always they oblige in coming in alive. He means you're being reckless. Father, the outcome's no better if we hole up in here and don't go outside. But we have to find a middle way. There is no compromise. Not while she's on my sea base. Your sea base? <laughs> I'm going outside. Bart, Torgal has disembarked the habitat. Bart, come in. It's dangerous. Damn it, boy. I know you can hear me. <gasps> Chief. Chief, get off the radio and put on your helmet. What? Brace! Holy shit! That sounded like a ghost leviathan at the beginning. And then a reaper leviathan at the end? Or am I just crazy? That is... Wow! We know what happened! And in very dramatic fashion, too! I'm gonna end it there. I'm... Let me just save. That's... Alright, so, that was pretty interesting. Guys, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section. Let me know. I want to see concept art for, for ice-breaking submarines, guys. Join the Discord server if you're an artist. If I like it, I'll show it off in a video, and, well, yeah, I think it'd be kind of cool. So, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next video.